for this wipe, I'm going to be living out of a trap base. Completely solo on a high pop vanilla server. This is going to be difficult. Alrighty, we are in. The server has just wiped. I have not played Vanilla Rust in a hot minute, so this is going to be interesting. We have spawned in the desert. This place has already given me the Pharaoh's curse. Seeing as I had spawned close to the outpost, my first objective was to get a sleeping bag down. All right, we have a bag in a good spot, and we're going to need a few electrical components for our little trap today. So living next to the safe zone is a very good idea, especially because we're solo. But I don't want to build too crazy of a trap base okay it still needs to be a solid base that we can live in for the wipe there's a guy oh no i'm dead not like this please already no way he has a gun already he's terrible he's terrible oh we're good bro 10 minutes into the wipe and people already have revies out here okay i see you and as i got to work farming up for our base things were actually looking good so far but in rust you can never get too comfortable no. Fuck you, kid. Thanks for all the loot, pussy. Little bitch. There goes your start. You're freaking stupid. Oh, man. Okay. I forgot what solo vanilla rust was actually like. Determined to get our start, I managed to gather some resources around the outpost. And under the cover of darkness, I began constructing our base for this wipe. All right. There we go. Like, I don't even know where we've built. But we'll see in the morning, I guess. I think this spot will work. Right here near Outpost is a good spot for a trap base too. This should work. Throughout the night, I kept farming up components and scrap until I was rudely interrupted. Someone's here. Someone's on the zip line. He's coming up. Oh! Hi! Oh, he's coming. Thank you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we needed that. We actually needed that so bad, dude. There we go. All right, the sun's about to come up. I'm just going to put an airlock on our base here so we're not working with just a one by one. Okay, it's a new day. We need low grade pretty badly for our furnace. Wooden doors are not going to cut it on this server. There's like 800 people on right now, so we kind of got to hurry up. After buying the low grade we needed and grabbing a little extra from a pig... We were finally starting to get our start. Oh, bro, what a base location. Look at this. All right, doing good, doing good. Furnace, check. There we go, dude. We are cooking now. Oh, zip line. <gasps> Woo! What a shot. <laughs> bro, what a clean shot. I've actually impressed myself there. Also, there is a reason my uh, base is so tall. I'll get to that, don't worry. And metal door. There we go. I'm feeling more secure now. After securing our loot, I headed back out naked to explore the surrounding area. Friend, 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 friend. Come on. Uh, America? Yes, yes, American. I'm, uh, I'm Chinese. I'm China. Nice. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, well, there may be a Chinese Zerg <laughs> moving in nearby. Oh, they're being shot at. Oh, you're leading them to me. I don't know English. I don't know English. Bro, stop following me. Yo, if he goes down, I'm grabbing that hazmat. <laughs> oh, it's his teammate there. Oh, he's down. Yo. Okay, I'm taking that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my Chinese brother. Oh, oh, friend, friend, friend. No, 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 no. What? Friend. <laughs> oh my God. I think we can all agree that was worth. Ain't no way. Okay, there's our stone. <laughs> oh my god. We gotta be quiet, dude. I don't want the freaking Chinese group knowing I live here, man. Bro, outside is a freaking battlefield right now. You know what? I'm gonna wait in here. And in the meantime, I'm gonna tell you guys about today's sponsor, Odoo. And this one's for my fellow entrepreneurs who wanna simplify their businesses. Odoo is an all-in-one management software that revolutionizes the way you handle e-commerce. Launching an online store with Odoo is a breeze. And the best part is you can create your first e-commerce platform for free with hosting, unlimited support, and a custom domain 
domain name free for an entire year. With Odoo, you can build your e-commerce store in just four quick steps. You define your objectives, choose your color palette and logo, add your pages and functionalities, and choose your theme. That's it. Odoo makes creating your online store quick and easy by using drag and drop blocks, create your products in just a few clicks, customize your fonts, colors, and images, product sizes, prices, descriptions, and photos. You can even add variants if you want, upsells, cross-sells, you name it. Configure your payment methods directly on the platform and start making your first sales today. If you're interested in starting your own e-commerce platform or store, then click the link in the description and check out Odoo. And a big thanks to Odoo for sponsoring this video. Bro, that sounds so close. Are you kidding me? Well, how can they build that close? What? That is bullshit, bro. Why are they right there? Oh, and it's a group. It's a group too. Oh, boy. All right. Let's meet our neighbors. Bro, look at this. Look at this. Who is this? Why have they moved in right next door? Are you kidding me? Bro, of all the spots, why does a group build right next to me? All right, let's get our workbench. Man, this is karma for killing those Chinese guys, I swear. Like, how am I supposed to compete with a foreman next door? Oh my God. Oh, and the door campers. Great. Back, back. Oh, we got him, we got him. <laughs> That's a free pumpy. Right, technically we've already trapped someone in our base. <laughs> His teammates here. This is his team. Listen, man, let me out and I will leave your stuff alone. I have a friend coming here and he's gonna do a little glitchy glitch where he can look, poke his head through it, and I'll loot it. I'll loot transfer. So you choose your poison, bro. Now, at this point, I had to weigh up my options as a solo. Not only did this group live literally right next to me, but I would be outnumbered in every fight going forwards. So instead of ruining my wipe over a pumpy, I decided to try and gain some allies. Hey, you know what? You guys live right next to me. How about we, uh, we actually be cool here, yeah? Like, I'll actually let you out. There, go. There you go. The man. Hey, can I get some of that metal bag, actually? Out of, out of good faith for our new uh, partnership? Yeah. There you all go. All right, all right. Appreciate I'll you, give man. That amount. Thank you, Francis. Right. Thank you, thank you. Oh, okay, we're on the team. Listen, it's not the best scenario, but I would much rather have them as allies at the moment. You know the saying, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Yeah, we got a bear rug. That is actually huge. For this trap idea that I'm thinking, we need bear rugs. So that is actually really helpful. Now, obviously, the situation with our new neighbors wasn't ideal. If we wanted to turn our base into a trap base, this group would kill any players nearby, potentially ruining the loot we would get. But after a rough start to the wipe, the rust gods finally decided to bless us. Oh, bean can. Let's go, dude. That's nuts. We take that, dude. We absolutely take that. Oh, one of them died. Oh, another one's dead. Oh, another one's dead. Yo, what is going on? I think they're getting raided. Oh, this could be perfect. Dude, they're dying as well. I think, please tell me they're getting raided. Oh my God. Oh, they got raided. They got freaking raided, dude. This is great news for me. Holy moly. Oh, I've never been happier. Sorry, boys, if you're watching this. <laughs> Holy shit, the rust gods have finally blessed us, dude. We can actually build a trap. Speaking of trap boats, we should have enough scrap now to unlock all of the electrical stuff that we need for it. So we've already got battery, solar panel, switch, door controller. We just need those, I think. I think that's it. Bro, they fully got raided. Oh man, this might actually be a decent wipe now. <laughs> now that the group next door had been evicted, I used this time to upgrade our base and began constructing our trap. Right, we want to have half walls here like this. And our bear rug is going to go on top just there. Someone's dying, bro. Now, because we have our bear rug there, we can actually place a pressure pad hidden underneath the floor. Perfect, just like that. Now, we just seal the rest of this off, make it look like a normal base. And that is going to be our jump up. There is people watching me. How you going, brother? Good, man. How are you? Back on the side. Doing well, man. Doing well. Hey, man, look. If you are who you think you... I... Fuck, dude. <laughs> Fuck. If you are who... <laughs> Love the work you put in, homie. 
I appreciate that, man. You're a real one. Okay, that is basically it besides the wiring and covering up that gap in the floor. We have a pressure pad hidden underneath the floor. That's going to be completely invisible. And basically what I'm thinking for the first iteration of our trap base is we leave this door open and it's going to look completely safe. So they'll jump down. This pressure pad activates. It opens this door, closes that one. And in here, we can have a shotgun trap. All we got to do now is wire it all up. Okay, I think we're done. Let's go ahead and seal this up now. And now our pressure pad is completely invisible under the floor. Now the final step is our shotgun trap. Ah, my favorite vending machine. There we go. All right, so I've got this small box poking through the door as well, just to tempt them into coming down. And now we have a shotgun trap to take them out. Okay, our base is now technically a trap base. If anyone goes inside, they're going to trigger the pressure pad, which closes the door behind them and opens the door to our shotgun trap. Best part is we can leave the trap open and the loot will seal itself inside. The door stays shut. I don't even need to be at base. Oh, I really hope we get someone with this. This is going to be good. Oh, he's got a backpack on. He's got a backpack. Ow! Let's see if he can hit me from there. Get out of here. Wow. Garage door BP? No shot. Okay, that was worth. Backpack is empty, but that was worth it just for the garage door. I gotta remember, we're still playing vanilla Rust solo here, even though we have a trap base. This isn't my usual build a trap base, sitting all day, waiting for loot. I'm, I'm actually playing the game this wipe. Alrighty, that was good, that was good. Oh, wow. Okay, we're actually getting extremely lucky with some of these drops right now. <laughs> Yo, come up, I dare you. Poor bastard didn't stand a chance. All right, I mean, we're getting our scrap and components together, man. We're building it up a bit. This is good. I'm liking it. I don't like how I have to reset the trap every time I come in, but that's fine. Oh, that's close. Dude, on me? Surely. I gotta try and not trigger this pressure pad. Oh, we're good. We're good. Is that him? That's not him. Who's that? Get out of here. On me. Oh, there he is. Oh, no. No. I gotta open the door. Okay. Oh. Um. Okay, I'm gonna leave the door open, please. Yes. Okay, okay. Bro, please, come on. Checking it. Oh, we got him, I think. No way. The first guy we get is a Tommy kid. <laughs> Bro, I'm vanilla too. Let's go. <laughs> oh, your dad. Thank you. Thank you, dad. Thanks for the Tommy. Okay, trap base is definitely a success. And it's also a functional base that we can live out of and honeycomb everything. I love this. Oh, I think that's him. That's got to be the same guy, right? He's coming back. Oh. <laughs> he's, he's fuming. He's actually running away from a crossbow. I think he lives in that base up there on the hill. Oh, boy. Oh, we're already making enemies again in this area. <laughs> All right, back on the scrap farm. I want to get our tier two workbench going so we can actually start getting some guns together. Oh. Sorry about that, buddy, but you did scare me. And I want your loot. Yeah, if we can get our tier two workbench going, we might be able to start roaming with some actual gear. Oh. Where you going, boy? Okay, another good haul today. Man, I forget how much grinding there is in vanilla. You think I got all day to play this motherfucking game? Come on. Oh, that's a metal pickaxe. Look at that pick. What have you got for me? Ooh, we take it. That is our honeycomb paid for right there. <laughs> but just when I thought things were finally going our way this wipe, we had another setback. Oh, oh this is good. This is good. Oh, no, it's the same guy from up the hill. Okay, it's been well over five minutes. I think he's gone back to his base. Damn, dude. If only that was someone... Oh no! Damn it, he waited, bro. He knows too. He just sent his naked friend in. Right, where does this guy live? I'm following him. Wait. 
Oh, I think he lives in that base there. I think he's an ally with the dude in this base right here. All right, you want to camp my door for five minutes? I can do the same. All right, this is his base. I just saw him get off the horse. I want to try and get him when he comes back out. I'll give him five minutes, same as he did. I think he's coming out right now. Yep. Oh, he... oh my God, he's loaded. That's him too, your dad. I'm going. I'm dipping. Please, I should have grabbed the horse. Who is that? That's not him, is it? Who is that? Bro, there's so many. Are there, is everyone together around here? Oh my God. Oh. Bro, I don't even know who that is. Oh, that's a shame, dude. That's so unlucky, man. God damn it. Please don't be raided. Yes. We're good. We're good. Let's go. Okay, yesterday we took a few L's, I'm not gonna lie, but this is solo vanilla rust and I am Mimeo, so it's to be expected. We still have our trap base, we still have our loot, I have a good feeling about today. And my good feelings were right, as day two started off very interesting. Oh, hello mate. Let's see if we can bait him up here. Just gotta act like a bot, NPC mode, yep, there we go. Bro, did he not? He didn't even loot me. What? Oh. Shit. Oh my god, he fell. <laughs> he fell off the zip line. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, sweet. The zip line did the work for us. Oh. That's MP5. That's MP5. Benny Vici, please. We need this. He's checking it out. He's going in. Got him. We got an MP5 kit. Bruh. Oh, it was full kit too. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. Bro, he even brought me shotgun traps. Now I can put some more in here. <laughs> and this was a great start to day two. But little did I know that this was just the beginning of our luck today. Oh, hello, mate. Yo, people keep falling off this zip line. What happened? No, not actually bad. But I have no idea what you just said. Bro, this zipline is like the ultimate wingman at the moment. <laughs> All right, more storage sorted. Now we really need that tier two workbench today. So I'm heading out for the day. I'll leave our trap base open to see if it catches anybody while I'm away. That's the goal today. More roaming, more PVP. Okay, no one at the train yard, it seems. Let's keep heading west. We haven't we haven't really been this way yet. Oh, that's a car. That's gear. Oh no. Oh, that's a person. I'm dead. Oh, got him. Oh, <laughs> bro, bro. That that's a tier three workbench. What? Please just let me get this back to my base, man. We needed this so bad, dude. I can see the base. Please. Oh my God, we're good. And we got someone. <laughs> what? Bro, what? Oh, I probably could have grabbed so much more, but I, I had to get out of there. We got the tier three semi garage doors. Yes, please, dude. Bro, I, what just happened? Oh my God. Right, we've got semis now. We, we have semis and we have a tier three, bro. What the f Just when you think things are going bad, you get something like that. <laughs> that is exactly what we needed. Okay, let's sort it out. We have semis now. We can go out with guns. Tier three, just like that. <laughs> this game annoys me with stuff like that. Like, why does that happen? Why? I don't deserve it, man. I'm just a solo. Now I have a tier three. Oh, there's people in the space up here. Bro, there's like hazmats in this wooden base. What is this? But I hear a lot of footsteps. Oh my god. Ah, I'm out of bullets! Bro! Another. Bro, how many are there? What even just happened? Dude, I panicked so much. I did not expect there to be so many people in there. That was like an ant's nest. 
Okay, I'm just gonna research this semi before we lose it. There we go. Now, we don't have 556, five, but we can buy some from the shop for some of our sulfur. So, let's go ahead and buy some 556. Five, Got the tier 3, and uh, we can just keep going out with semis. Dude, I'm very happy right now. Alrighty. Gimme, gimme. Gimme ammo. There we go. Okay, we got it. We got it. We have ammo now. Okay, that is everything we needed. Oh, there's a hazzy here. I hear a hazmat. He's running around the base. Hello? Can you wave? Oh, okay. I, hey, I'll take another semi. Come on up. Come on, barbecue fish. Been a minute. He hasn't come in. Don't know if he's left or not. Oh. Well. Bro, we got him anyway. <laughs> Alright, I was just going to bait him into the trap, but that also works. Thank you. Oh, another semi to add to our collection. This is working great today, man. Alright, recycling is done. We got 290 scrap. That should be enough to get us some semi kits going and we can start going out for some proper roams. 556 researched. Done. All right. I also want to quickly research this silencer. As a solo, we've got to be sneaky. So I think a silent semi is the way to go. Let's quickly grab the scrap for that. Bro, look at the neighborhood. Like actually look at where we live. That is our base. And then look at all of these. There's a tower. There's a tower, there's a tower, there's a tower, 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 tower. Freaking roof camp is everywhere, bro. But somehow we have survived this long. <laughs> All right, silencer, done. All right, we should be pretty much kitted up to go for a cheeky roam. I got a silencer crafting. I'm gonna go back over this side of the map. This seemed to work out well for me last time. Ooh, there's a car pulling up. There's a guy. Okay. Camper van usually means group, but it is a wooden base. He's out. Got him. Bro, he had nothing. You're my boy, bro. What did I do? Okay, I actually feel kind of bad about that one. I'm, I'm getting out of here. Ooh, shots? This way? Semi pistols. Okay, okay. Bro, they're naked. What? What is this? Oh my god. Bro, how many is there? We got the freaking naked army after us. Oh! Oh, no way I go down. <laughs> okay, maybe we don't go towards that village. <laughs> I don't know, this base has twig. I, I think that's actually just a ceiling. There's a guy. Oh. Got him. That's gear. Bro, he's got something. I'm checking this. Oh! Oh no! Oh my god! Bro! Oh, I had one HP, man. I was dead anyway. God damn it! I'll go to where we died and I'll go this way. They gotta be close, man. Like, there's not much up here. Please just let me spot him. Oh my god, I see him. That's gotta be him. The chances that that's not him is crazy to me. That's him, that's him, dude. That's him. Bro, they're like, they're moving loot to this island. What is this? I am hot on this guy's tail behind him, dude. I don't think he knows. There's, there's more people on the island, dude. It's them. They're right here. Bro, that's my, that's my semi. This is the guy. We got him. Bro, one of them ran. Did you see him? Like, let's get an action replay. He legged it when he saw me. Part of me wants to ditch the guns and go in there. I'm going to hide it in this corner on this map right here. Okay, we can come back for this. Put the resources away. Put the guns in there. I'm just roaming with a semi. Oh, I see him. Dude, they're running. They're running away. Oh my god, I hate zigzaggers. Oh, pfft. Okay. What? 
Oh, there's, oh, there was one behind me. What? I don't even know what's going on, man. Who's, who's shooting me? I'm getting headshot from across the map. I just got to hope they didn't see the freaking box, man. If we can get those guns, I'm, I'm happy, honestly. We can still make a play on this island. This island has a lot of juice. I already know it. I have a bag nearby. We have guns in the box. Maybe I just take the semi-pistol out. We, we try again. If it hasn't been looted, we try again. Oh my God, it's here. Ain't no way. Right, let's roll MP5. Oh, they were behind me, bro. They're running, they're running off again. What are these guys doing? They're going towards Lighthouse. I am following these guys again. Oh, it's a furnace base. And it's twig. They're building a furnace base right now. That's what they're doing. I don't hear them. Are they not in here? Oh, when the cat's away, the mice will play. Don't mind if I do. I'm going in. What we got? Wow. Yeah, worth it already. Another bean can. I'll take it. Well, I'm definitely taking all this sulfur and metal. That is for sure. Thank you very much. What's here? Oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay, sorry, little sherbet. I don't think this is the guy's. Sorry, little sherbet. I didn't mean do you like that. Yo, it's fucked up, dude. I'm coming for your ass, boy. I mean, I'm happy. I'm very happy. Don't get me wrong. But that's not who I was chasing. You know what? We're, we're going to try and run this back to base. That is a really good hole. But you best bet I'm coming back to this island with a gun to try and make some more plays. Because there is... I told you, man. There's some juice on this island. There's some treasure. Okay, roof campus central. Here we go. Yep. I freaking knew it, dude. I hate where I live, man. What is this? Going for it. Woohoohoo! Right again, roof campers. Alrighty, another huge haul. That sulfur is really, really good. After crafting up another semi and ammo, I waited until nightfall to head back towards the island. Probably best we leave the base when it's dark just to avoid the roof campers. Okay, island. Oh, I see one of them. I see one of them already. Oh, do they live right there in that base? I am once again following this group. Oh, they're raiding. They're raiding this base right here. Yep. Yeah, they're in there. Bro, how many headshots I gotta get? Oh my god, there's way too many, bro. I need to take this silencer off. Oh, okay. None of those shots hit. Right. Oh, we might need to rethink our approach here. Man, the solo life is hard out here today. After retrieving the loot I stored earlier on the island, I took a short mental break from Rust and logged back on later in the day. Okay, still not raided. Sweet. Right, it's time to get our PvP back on. I'm gonna head back towards the west. This guy's also following me right now with a combo. Don't do it. Yep. Oh. oh, we're good. We're good. Thank you. What did you have on you? Oh, thank you. Now, where was this Revy? He must have dropped it here, right? Okay, I found the Revy after checking my footage to see where it went. Let's go, baby. Free Revy kit, I'll take it. Might as well stash this and head back out. I'll take that. Do we dare head back to the island? I swear I'm obsessed with this island, man. You know what? We're doing it. We're having fun. We're having fun, guys. Someone's in front of me. Get out of here. What you got? Oh, a little farmer. I'll take that. Oh, another farmer? Hold on. Bro, why is there so many people on this island right now? Is this like a... Yeah, you tried. You tried jumping me with the python. Get the hell out of here. I'm having that. Let's go. What did farmer number two have? Okay, not much, but I will take it. Thank you very much. So far, the island is actually working out. I'm liking it. All right, there is a door opening in this base. I'm crouching all the way up. We are being absolute stealth mode on this island right now. Oh, he's out. Bro, how how did he know I was there? What? 
Crux. That was the Python kit. What is going on? Ah, yes. Profile private. No previous names. Listen, I'm not saying he's cheating, but I was crouched that whole time and he knew exactly where I was. Yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe he's lucky. Uh, it's pretty late, so I think I'm going to jump back on in the morning. New day, new experiences. I just hope we don't get raided. Three days in and we still hadn't been raided. And I actually had a plan for today. Okay, I'm starting day three off by recycling a bunch of scrap because I want to buy one item in particular. Night vision goggles, baby. What I'm thinking is, at night, if they can't see us, they can't kill us. And as a solo, I need all of the advantages I can get. Our base is still kicking. I've restocked our TC. Today is going to be another good day. I can feel it. A little neighborhood update for you guys. Basically, I was right. These three groups are all teamed up and they have a little clan roof camp village right next to my base. They have turrets, bolties, everything you would expect from virgins. So our little trap base is struggling to get any loot because these guys just keep killing everyone. But while we wait for night time, Jesus, this guy's crazy. Crazy next to outpost. Oh, I think he died. <laughs> oh, that is some karma. Oh, yo. Okay. It sucks to be that guy. <laughs> okay, that is a great start to my day today. Alrighty, let's put this away. That saves me farming today, at least. Okay, it's about to get dark, so I'm gearing up to go night vision mode. The coast... Appears to be clear. It's about to be pitch black. I'm just going for it. I'm out. I'm gone. I am one with the night. Oh, and a raid as well. Don't mind if I do. Oh, it's a farmer. First of all. I don't even want this, but I'll take it. Whatever. Okay, a base was getting raided in these woods here somewhere. It's got to be like right here. I think I found it. Is this it? Oh. Bro, that's a full Tommy kit. That's a Tommy kit. Let's go. I'm dipping. <laughs> Bro, can confirm. Night vision goggle successful. We are running that back every night if we can, bro, until we lose them. That was that was elite. He had no idea. He's going to F7 report me so quick. He'd be like, how the hell did he see me? Oh, let's go. Right. Cheeky kit. That's good. That's good. We got to keep this momentum going, man. I really quickly want to go buy a tier two. Someone's selling it on the drones so that we can unlock Molotovs and maybe do some raids of our own. Alrighty, tier two workbench, please. Job done. There we go. Thank you very much. Oh, no, no way. I just lose all that scrap in the tier two. No, no, no. Oh, he's right here. That's him. Get the hell out of here, man. Give me that loot back, boy. Ooh, okay, we're good. We're fine. We even got some extras out of it, so we're good. Oh, Jesus. I think that's the same guy. Bro, that scared me. I forgot my base was still a trap base. All right, we can work on this. We can work on that. I have big plans, big goals. Let's use some of this metal to make the base a bit more secure while we're at it. There we go. And another garage door. Why not? Okay, I'm going to quickly grab lunch for 10 minutes and I will be back. Guys, why am I dead? What has happened? Oh no, we're literally getting raided right now. Oh, we are. We're actually getting raided right now. Right, ain't no way. It's the clan. It's the freaking clan village. Oh man. Benny Vici. Yep, well... There we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, like, I can't even do anything. They're just roof camping the whole area. <laughs> well, they raided through all the doors. Damn, that would have been expensive and not worth it at all. <laughs> well, we survived three days living next to the clan village and we even trapped a couple geared people. So I'm going to say success, kind of. Let me know if you want to see another vanilla wipe and hopefully we get a bit luckier next time. Crunch, crunch, double tap, full dead. If I shoot at you, you know I only hit your head. Try to get back to your body from your back.